Okay guys, welcome back for part two of the three part series of the Storm Drain's paracord woven and half hitched pouch. Um, I'm going to reiterate, please leave constructive criticism down below if you don't like something or if you think the video would do better with something else or it had too much or too little, whatever, please leave comments like it or dislike it so I can get some feedback on uh, Im uh, future improvements and so forth I want to make stuff that you guys enjoy and can use and please subscribe whichever way that goes I um, appreciate all that now uh, in the first part we did the wrapping around the can and and now we're getting ready to weave the vertical stuff so let's get started doing that okay Okay, so my uh, work started over here on the left side of this dowel rod, and I finished down here on the left side of the dowel rod. I'm going to go to the right side and start my wrap, and I'm going to start by going under the first two vertical wraps, and then over, and then under, if you guys can see this, and then under, and you just keep doing that, so keep repeating that over and over. Under, over, under. I'm just going to do this two or three times to show you guys what I'm doing, and then I'm going to turn the camera off and finish it, and then <coughs> we'll go from there. So, under, over, and don't feel bad if you do this project and it doesn't come out right. In fact, I started this project earlier with four sticks in the Pringles can and it didn't come out right so I'm starting over from scratch so um, if you make a mistake just take it apart or leave it the way it is and use it for something else and then start over again I mean this is a leisure time activity there's nobody grading you on this but yourself so um, <coughs> I like my project to come out right and if it's not quite right I don't have any problems taking it apart and starting over I probably worked on the project for three hours and now I'm starting over again. The only reason it took so long is because I'm doing all the video work too. From start to finish this project probably really only takes uh, a couple hours to do once you get the hang of it. Oh, I forgot to mention that when I came out, but I can still show you, I got the jabber jaw on and missed an uh, important step I wanted to tell you about. Okay, so this project here I started at the bottom under and it will finish up over if you go the 32 wraps okay so it'll go over the last two vertical wraps this way so my weave is over and then you want to make it reverse going back down so now it's going under and so that way you've got um, the vertical weave going under over under over under over finishing over and then coming back down and going under over under over under and you can see that it's going to also alternate this way as well so this one's over and if you go vertically I'm sorry this vertical uh, the uh, the coyote tan is under this wrap and it's over this one it should be under over under over under over so it should alternate up and down as well as side to side and I'm going to pull this tight and you can see that I'm going to be pulling these you can see how this is down here see and I'm going to be doing the same thing when I get down to the bottom and I'm going to be using this can as a guide to show me um, if I'm getting the length just right or not <coughs> so let me do another let me do this so you guys can see my work a little bit more under Under two, over two, under two, over two, under two, over two, under two, and over. Okay, so pull it, pull it tight. You will get, if you can see that, how this is kind of twisted here. In other words, if you twist the cord, it's kind of twisted there. You want to get those twists out because they'll leave an ugly twist and and make a nasty looking uneven spot in your work so you want to what you want to do to get those 
comes out is if it's twisted clockwise, twist the cord counterclockwise and then pull it through and then you'll end up with a nice even neat cord that didn't come out exactly the way I wanted it to so I'm going to redo it a little bit and that's much better okay so then take your awl or something pointy and then move these vertical weaves right next as close as you can get them to each other this first one should be as close to the dowel rod as you can get it and then the next one should come right up next to it and once you get them in place then you'll want to adjust the tension on the row that the vertical row that you just did it's horizontal when I'm holding it this way but remember that I'm saying that the top and the bottom of the can are here and here so it's vertical that way so pull it so that there's a little bit of tension and then go do your next row I want to do three of these so that you can see that my loops pull from the top and the bottom and how I size the can to it so okay so this one came out on the top of the bottom two rows so now I'm coming going working to the right of that and going under and then under over under over under over all the way back up please be creative with this project this I don't not do this my project according exactly according to storm drains directions I think his directions call for these vertical rows weaves to be half inch from each other and I'm telling you to crank them over as close to each other as you can get what happens if you do it his way is that the pouch is kind of a floppy pouch when it's done um, if you do it my way it's a very firm pouch in fact you can stand it up and it it'll stand up on its own his his pouch will just kind of sink down on itself and there's no neither way is right or wrong it's just the way I like my work to be done and it also kind of depends on what you're going to be using it for I want mine to be used for a koozie and floppy koozie would work just as fine as the firm it's just that's the way I like my work to be done so that's the way I'm doing it la 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 okay so I can tell that this is going to be twisty can you see how it's twisting up here on the end as I'm pulling it through I want to get those twists out so another way that you can do it when you get all the way down here is I can see that this is twisted towards me so I can twist it the opposite way here at the top and then pull it through down here and I'll get rid of some of these twists down here and then there we go perfect okay I got it just the way I want it okay all right so let me adjust these rows a little bit again down this way as close as you can get them to each other you could tell that if i was using black cord to do these wraps it would be very hard for you to tell what i'm doing but um, that's why i'm using the two different colors just so that it's more visible for you guys to see what's going on there okay all right so now i've got three rows and this should be about the size of my project here you can tell that it's much more narrow here than it is than it's at at the end of this well, maybe not the way I was holding it let me back up a little bit you can tell that it's much more narrow between the work that I've done between here and here than it is over here because I've pulled these strings together here when I'm doing my vertical weaving so now you want to take your can or whatever you're doing this for and hold it up next to the project so I'm holding the bottom of the can to the bottom of the wrap here that I've done the weave I've done and I can see that the weave is going to be about up to here on the can on the top okay, that's not the way I want it I want it to be a little bit shorter so I'm going to tighten up these wraps a little bit and then I'm going to finish this uh, wrapping all the way around <coughs> uh, also noteworthy is that as you're wrapping this when the it'll start to get tighter and tighter the more uh, paracord you put through this project it'll tighten these wraps up that's why these dowel rods are in here when it starts to get really tight for you then you just pull a dowel rod out and then you'll have a little bit more slack and then you can keep on going so I'm going to I'm going to work this until I need to pull out a dowel rod and then I'll, I'll, I'll come back at you.
Okay, so I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, and I've started a sixth row of vertical weave down here, and I'm starting to feel like this is maybe distorting the can a little bit while I'm working. And so I, you don't want that because your project will then come out malformed. So to give yourself a little bit more slack where it's easier to work, pull out one of these dowel rods. And that will give you a lot more, um, a lot less tension in here. See, I can you know, easily move this wraps up and down. But you don't want to do it too early either or your wraps will just be sliding off the can and that makes it difficult to work as well. So um, you kind of got to do it, maybe do it once or twice and kind of get the feel for it and then you'll know what's going on. You can see how it's much easier to see. This has kind of almost got a, a really neat checkerboard pattern to it of my um, on top, on bottom, on top, on bottom, on top, on bottom, and on top, on bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom this way as well as this way.